How are you branching and merging? While these terms are increasing in popularity, these actions have been practiced for years for exploring variations and modifications with design and engineering data. This is Michael Steves, Territory Manager with Quest Integration, and in this video, we'll review the manual processes of branching and merging and show you the new automation available with SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional in the 2018 version. Let's start out simple. In this example, I have a text document with some notes inside. I want to make changes to these notes and at the same time, keep the original. Especially when it comes to design data, we often make copies and rename files to make sure that they're unique. And if we want to replace the original file with the new one, I can delete the original and rename the new copied one to make sure my reference files are up to date. As you can imagine, this can get quite complex with working with CAD data or other file formats that have external references like parts, assemblies, and drawings. It's easy to make copies of these referenced files using tools like Pack and Go and Copy Tree in PDM, but we must answer how are we going to get these changed files back together with the original and overwrite or replace the original file. I could use the file explorer practices like we saw earlier or we could use the replace feature inside SOLIDWORKS to easily replace the desired components with the new version. PDM already has comprehensive data management capabilities to babysit the data for us as we use, rename, and move files throughout the vault. To access the branch merge and associated buttons go to your tools menu. You can also access some of these items from the right-click menu. By default, they may not be there. Modify your right-click menu to include these tools by editing your settings in the administration tool. Simply add or drag and drop to configure your user interface here. The branch feature is already familiar if you've used tools like Copy Tree or Pack and Go. First, we label our branch. Next, we specify which files we want to copy. Similar to Copy Tree, we'll give it a suffix. This automatically gives it a unique name for the new file. We can automatically check in if we wish and branch when we're ready. If we have a design that we want to merge back and create a new version of the part, we can choose to merge and confirm the operation. At any time, we can click Associated Branches to view the source and destination branch. So for your next exploration of variation in your design or modifications to an existing product, use the new branch and merge functions available in SOLIDWORKS PDM Professional 2018. To learn more about SOLIDWORKS PDM and see more videos like this, click here. Click here to learn more about our award-winning team. And for upcoming events in your area, click here.